America and Canada battling here at XFC 43. And there's the man, they call him Dirty South to Juan Owens, and he's been doing this for a long, long time, Pat. Extremely savvy veteran and a guy that's fought all around the world on top of that. We are talking about his 33rd professional fight tonight here in Atlanta. Yeah, and I've called a couple of his fights before. He will throw, he will throw nonstop. Without a doubt, the great Dewan Owens, he has a great personality and he's actually told me personally that he feels like he's going to win this tournament right off into the sunset. That's how he sees this thing going down. All right. So this is a, you know, a very big moment for him, Dewan, Allen, Dewan Owens, Dirty South, as he awaits his opponent, the man they call Handsome Scott Hudson, an uh, experienced fighter himself. This is going to be his 17th professional fight. And there's something about these experienced fighters. You know, you love to see the opportunities that they're getting here, Pat. Uh, MMA is so popular right now, so busy, but there's only a few shows that are really next level international. XFC is one of those shows, relaunched, rocking, and one of these guys is looking to become the king of the lightweight division. It's amazing. Yeah. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape and take a closer look at the numbers here. 33 and 35, respectively. You see the height advantage will most definitely go to Scott Hudson. Four inches on the reach. Will it make a difference? Who will move on to the semis? We go to Blake Chadwick. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a quarterfinal bout in the XFC lightweight tournament set with three five-minute rounds of action. Introducing first to my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands at five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 155 pounds with a record of 18 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. And fighting out of Kerry, North Carolina, he is Dewan. Dirty South. Dirty South. And his opponent, to my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is a mixed martial artist standing at six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 155.5 pounds. He enters this fight with a record of 11 wins, four losses, and one draw. And fighting out of Hamilton, Ontario, he is handsome, Scott. George Allen. George Allen, the veteran ref here out of Georgia. And here we go as we try to find our next semifinalist here in the XFC Lightweight Tournament, the relaunch of the XFC Cyrus Fees alongside the legend, Pat Militich, the Croatian sensation, if you will. And here we go. It is Dewan Owens. Hudson. Taking on Hudson. Hudson, a guy with very good Muay Thai skills, but if you leave your neck open against him, he will choke you. A lot of guillotine finishes. Yeah, we talked about it being kind of up and down the roads to Juan Owens. Your fingers are out. Back up a little bit. There we go. Fight. So George Allen trying to get ahead of this uh, very, very early, trying to keep these guys from any sort of incidental eye pokes here with Hudson and Owens. Snuck in a nice head kick, did Owens. George Allen fought on the card here. I can't even tell you how many years ago it was. Um, when I was cornering Marcus Davis, the Irish hand grenade down here. My goodness. In this very building. A history lesson tonight here on XFC 43. We love the Irish hand grenade, no doubt about it. Canceling each other out here. Another nice high kick by Owens, but Hudson trying to make him pay. How many more miles? Does Jawan Owens have left on that body? He says he wants to finish this tournament up. And as he said, right off into the sunset. Can he make that destiny happen here in the XFC? He wins this tournament, though. I don't know if they're just going to let him ride off. <laughs> they may want him to, you know, keep riding a little bit longer here right? in the XFC. Yeah. Well, he's done a good job so far on the outside when he has to cover up and then fire back at Hudson. He's keep that up. We are choosing to stay in tight. Scott Hudson riding a four-fight win streak right now. Wins over Jarrell Askew, who you're going to see in our main card. 
wins over Dewan Pinkney, Adam Hazleton, and Xavier Nash. And all of those tough, tough fights. A couple by decision, a couple by choke. Dewan Owens fights out of the corner, and we're back in the center of the XFC Hex. Owens needs to set those kicks up. It's too easy to see him coming. Let's him just lose his leg. Of course, we are. Feels like moments away, only an hour and some away from kicking things off. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC Sports. Yes, indeed. Coming back in a big way with our main card, Maria Sukumtot on top of that card. Jessica Aguilar will make her debut here in the XFC as well. Now, here comes the knees from handsome Scott Hudson. Ooh. Very solid knee there. Now some elbows. That'll take the wind out of your sails real quick. It will. Owens has to watch out because he is measuring those knees. Now measuring the elbows to go with it. Hard shots. Almost a no look. Strike there by Owens. Right. We've seen a lot of no look passes. I don't know about a whole lot of no looks. The, the kick. That's, that's the first no look sidekick I've seen. <laughs> Changing the game. Here in his mid-30s, Dewan Owens. Wow, and Hudson, man, does he puts a power behind those kicks and those knees. Pat, I'm telling you, Owens isn't going to last long if he takes too many of those. He seems like he's wearing out a little bit already. More knees to the body, these elbows. Good trip. Of course, Dewan Owens wins in his career over a number of top contenders. And here comes the sledgehammer shots by Hudson. Elbows, elbows raining down by the Canadian. How Hudson is, or Bill Owens is not cut wide open from those elbows, I have no clue. And still uh, more than enough time here for Hudson to notch in a finish. And now it looks like Owens is just going to try to stall him out oh, by any cut. means necessary. Yes, the blood has been spilled on those beautiful mats here at the XFC. So far, six fights, six finishes. It has been a roller coaster ride here in Atlanta. Owens had to get his legs uncrossed there. That's a pretty good position to lock his hips down. He knew he had to get out of that position. He was going to need a lot of leg. Diving in. Here comes some more ground and pound by Scott Hudson, who wants to put an exclamation mark on this matchup in advance of the tournament. And he's well on his way at this point, Pat. Somehow, though, Owens still surviving. Owens coming off of two straight losses right now. A couple of TKOs. Is this going to be the end of the career for Dirty South to Juan Owens, or is he going to be able to survive and get to the next round? Great defense there on the bottom. And he will live to fight another round. Hudson was trying to get him out of there. He worked hard, and he worked hard trying to get him out of there. He wanted to end that fight, and sometimes you get that in your mind, you get it set in your mind, and you can wear yourself out, Pat. Sure, he looks like he's in great shape, though. There's a kick just a little high on the body, not, not on the Ooh. liver. Now, beautiful counter right hand by Juan. And there's the perfect time of the kick. Boot that leg out from underneath him, the supporting leg. And then go to work on the ground. Here it comes. Scott Hudson. So there it sets is. Sets and fires there. Beautiful kick, you know, right place, right time. There's so many reasons to, you've got to set your kicks up with punches. You absolutely must, especially at the high level like this. Because if you don't, you're going to get taken down, you're going to get countered with punches, or you're going to get your leg booted up from underneath you. And there you saw one of them. And there's Hudson trying to get the finish. Well, he worked extra hard. and But I think uh, looking to carry this momentum into round two, what does Dewan Owens have to do, Pat? It's not going to be easy to answer ready? back. Ready? He's going to have to dig down deep. Stay inside and land over and rights. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the recipe right there. He may have heard that. You know, it's <laughs> middle of the pandemic. A lot of the times these fighters hear this advice. Right, well, I mean, his corner's got to know that he lost that first round. So they're saying, get after it. There, he caught the kick. 
you know, I, I, I have a, a past, and, you know, I've known Dewan over the years, so I've had a chance to talk to him a lot over the last few days, and man, he's very, he's been thinking very positive and very, very confident coming into this fight. He knows what this means to his career. Hudson is looking to end a career tonight. A jumping knee from Scott Hudson getting airborne in Atlanta. Oh, it's definitely, you can tell the wires got crossed on that right hand, and he tried the elbow, tried a rolling elbow there behind his back. Came up short, hit with the tricep, barely. Going further into fight has always benefited Dewan Owens. This is a guy that has won most of his fights by way of decision. He likes to drag it into deep rounds, which is what he's trying to do here. Maybe trying to wear out Hudson. That's a beautiful little trip there. Now he's figure forward and locked down the leg. Hudson fighting out of Canada has been on a tear as of late. This is such a, a tough division, and it only gets deeper and deeper as we go, Pat. 155 has always been that division. There's always so many fighters worldwide, and you can pick, you can pick them, and they can continue to get picked on, and you can still have world champions out there waiting to be signed. It's 100%. incredible. Yeah, and the 170-pound division is, is that division, in my mind anyway, where they have immense amount of power, where they, they do have some of the guys do have you know, heavyweight knockout power, and they have great athleticism and speed as well. So the fights are always going to be exciting. When get to get athletes in there. Three minutes to go here in round number two as Hudson continues to work on Owens. He has a lot of time to work with. You gotta believe he needs to be calm and he needs to take his time here and be more measured and not wear himself out. Now he's got the arm trapped. He reached behind his back and hooked that arm. See how he's got his hand hooked back, but on that bottom arm. Far side wrist control, we call that. That is a nightmare to be in. Do not get stuck in that because you end up getting hot shotted like this. Yeah, Hudson just overwhelming Owens thus far. As we sit at the halfway point here in the Tabernacle. Wow, this place, formerly a church. Uh, it really doesn't beat the atmosphere here at the Tabernacle in Atlanta and a perfect place to relaunch XFC. Imagine, the, look at the organ up there. Beautiful. <laughs> it's incredible. A concert venue, of course, concerts have kind of been grinded to a halt. Uh, now, able to put this thing together against all odds to get this fight going here in Georgia. It really is pretty incredible to have a fan base here, to have fans in attendance. Of course, abiding by all those strict COVID guidelines, the mask, the distancing. No one's trying to turn back into it. Still surviving here is Dewan Owens. That's something he has done and made a trademark of in his career. And still has a little juice left here, has a little gas left in the tank here, Pat. Do you hear me? I'm going to take a point. Okay, what's he warning him for there? I'm going to take a point. You grab that cage one more time. Hey. Listen to me. And you can hear it ready? very, very clearly. Here we go. Here we go. We'll be gone Fight. if you grab a hold of that cage one more time. Dewan Owens has been warned. Sometimes those veteran moves can pay off kind of those savvy little cage grabs, but George Allen is very keen to it. Yeah, but I mean, if you think about it, if you're if you're smart and you're in a bad position and you want to get warned by the ref to save your tail, of course. I mean, you, you got to do what you got to do sometimes, right? You better believe it. The best of the best use it to their advantage, sure. no doubt about it. Maybe there's a light heavyweight out there that's been known to use that eye poke at least once every fight. <laughs> get the warning, just don't use it anymore. <laughs> Setting up the kick is handsome Scott Hudson. And he landed that to the liver, and then a hard punch, and Owens doesn't seem phased Well, wow, he just keeps walking right through it, yeah. fighting out of Cary, North Carolina, right outside of Raleigh, and showing that he is very much still in this fight. Don't count out, Dirty South. Close that hand. And I'll tell you, you know, I mean, for what it is, has looked really good in this last minute, has DeJuan Owens. It's impressed me that he's still got that much left, Pat. Yeah. There's another liver kick. Now, was it enough to take the round? I don't think so. That being said, 
Does he carry some momentum into the third round? I think so. Possibly. He looks pretty fatigued, but he keeps grinding. When you get into the emotional aspect, you get into the dramatics, and, and you talk about, is your career over? Do you want to continue to do this thing? One of the hardest jobs in the world, doing what these guys do, staying up training, continuing to stay in shape, even during the middle of a, a worldwide pandemic. And that's what these guys have done. They have been fired up by our president, Myron Malaki, and they know what it means to be a part of this great organization, which is officially back in the limelight, the XFC. Scott Hudson, by all accounts, is in the lead and sitting at, you would imagine, a couple of 10-9 rounds. I don't think he got anything 10-8, but uh, definitely ahead in this fight. Oh, yeah, he's got the edge, two rounds to nothing, more than likely. You winning, do your thing, okay? Greg Allen. Have a few words with him, going over to LaRue now, we'll talking to him. Okay, we'll Dewan Owens was just signaling to the crowd here. They were only able to pack a few hundred in here just because of the regulations but, and because of what the Tabernacle is. It's a small venue. It's a beautiful venue, but it's a small venue. But Dewan Owens wants to get all that support, wants to bring it out of the Southerners here in Atlanta. Is this one last hurrah for Dirty South Dewan Owens? Well, it seems like the further we get into these rounds, the more energy and the better Pushing Owens on looks. On the elbow, on the so you do that Push before. Eat a lot of leather early on and then start coming steaming back. Is there any way that round two is interesting enough to where somebody might see it the other way? Potentially, potentially. Yeah, I mean, he stayed pretty busy. Especially at the end of the round. So keep that in mind, folks, if we should go the distance here and if anybody's going to go the distance it's that man owens and scott hudson has been in the driver's seat but you got to finish the fight nobody cares what the score is in the third quarter i tell you what you just never know the georgia athletic commission is very good a lot of very experienced people on this one of the better athletic commissions in the nation but you still never know you don't want it to go to the judges no, and they really have it. Our athletes here at the XFC have continued to show us that they want finishes and they uh, want to make their play for fight of the night, knockout of the night, submission of the night. They want more shares in this company. They want more money in their pocket. Scott Hudson steps through with that big right hand and it glances past Owens. Well, he's throwing any trick, the kitchen sink, everything is Dewan Owens. Yes, he is. He's landed quite a few. Well, even if he doesn't win the fight, it might land him a spot in an action movie. You know, one of those. Yeah, that's possible. He's showing us something. Well, I do. I, I really love oh, the knees there. I do like the way he throws a round kick, and if it misses, we'll turn it into a side kick. Oh, right down the middle. Nice, nice timing by Owens. Boy, he's having fun out there. The sidekick and, and Hudson's allowing him to play a little bit. I think he's kind of playing right into Owens's playbook. Does he think he's up two rounds to nothing and not wanting to risk anything big? It doesn't pay off often, right? Scott Hudson on, on the on the doorstep of making it to the semifinals here, but not the time to let off of the gas. Seen it too many times before. job of attacking him when he comes in. Every time he's throwing something at him. We only got two minutes left in this fight. Then, of course, we'll take a small break, and then we will lead into the incredible main card, NBC Sports. That'll be at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Do not miss that. Outside leg kick by Hudson now, maybe starting to get back into his rhythm. We haven't seen much of that here in round number three. And Owens, this is not the time. Oh, beautiful time. Back. Here comes Hudson. That one landed squarely. Owens still standing up. He's potentially here. Nice elbow. And that hurt him. That hurt him. He fell into the cage face first. But he keeps coming forward, Pat. If this is the end of the career, what a way to go out. 
blood streaming down your face, fighting a brutal fight here against a younger Scott Hudson. And really much uh, physical, much bigger. Yeah, Hudson. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, Hudson, a big lightweight, it really is. Very good. Come on, come on. This is what these guys train for. Those long days, long nights in the gym, seven days a week, never take a break. It's for moments like this, fighting through it, moving on in the tournament. Who's it going to be? All that work for 15 minutes. Yeah. Huh? Hudson using small elbows there, just slowly picking away at Owens. He knows he most likely has a lead, and with this last minute of action, he may take the third round as well. Right. Come on, come on. Oh, up, so. He can walk around with this. Oh, mounted guillotine. Very tough one to get out of. Only 10 seconds left, though. Can Owens survive? It looks like he will. Look at that. Owens gets out. Good for him. Owens gets up, and that is where we will leave it. They go the distance for the first time tonight. We go to the judges' scorecards, and Pat, what do you make of it? You know, it was a valiant effort there by DeWan Owens, but I think we would agree that Scott Hudson outpointed him tonight. Yeah, Hudson, Hudson and he, I think, just kind of a mismatch physically, in my mind. Owens, obviously, plenty tough enough. Oh, yeah, DeWan Owens two, three, four years ago, I think that's not going to be an issue. Hudson liked to step in and hit that trip. Counters that body kick with a right hand. Oh, look at that impact. Straight to the solar plexus. Watch the right hand fire back. Nice job bending in half. And there's the timing on the kick. Taking Owen's legs out from underneath him. Hudson getting to work with elbows on the ground a lot. And Owen's bleeding from under the eye. Beautiful knees to elbows from Hudson during that fight. And I tell you what, Owen's doing a great job getting out of submissions, eating big punches, and staying up on his feet. There's the counter right hand. Or the oh, you got to love it. Stepping right through. That is some vintage Dewan Owens action right there. He wanted to end it with that one. <laughs> that flying knee may have been the beginning of the end, though. I mean, you know, it, it seemed like that was perfectly placed, and it, and it killed any sort of comeback. We will send it up. To Blake Chadwick, he has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scores. All three judges ruled this fight 30-27. Your winner, the unanimous decision in the red corner. Handsome Scott Hudson. Well, there it is. Scott Hudson comes away with the victory and moves on in the lightweight tournament. Big win here by the Canadian tonight. And, and I think we can agree, you said it, he's a physically uh, impressive specimen here in this division. And anybody that matches up with him is going to have to deal with that size and deal with that 